I first started in 1971, late 1971, after touring the US with uh, the band. Uh, it was Rod Stewart and The Faces, uh, Deep Purple and Matthew Southern Comfort. And I was with Matthew Southern Comfort. And after the tour, I was asked to join Deep Purple and I jumped at the chance. So that was it, basically. I was along since then. It was certainly the best time for touring, from, in my opinion, from a, a, a performer's and a personal point of view. It was great for the crew. Uh, certainly the, the best times to, to actually tour. Now it seems like it's all business and politics. And, you know, um, it's all about money now. The whole atmosphere has changed. Um, not really, because that was like the best time to tour for most bands. Uh, it was a really exciting time. Every band in the world seemed to be out on the road, and uh, it was just, it just seemed right. You know, it was wonderful. It was a great time to tour. I was asked by Blackmore to come along, and uh, you know, it seemed like the end of Deep Purple to me. It was a, a sad time. So I decided to make the jump and move with him. Um, uh, Purple carried on with Tommy Bolin and uh, David Coverdale and Glenn Hughes. And I made the move, so... It was nothing I regretted, that's for sure. Right from the very start, yeah. We all moved to California with Richie and... Uh, that's where we set up shop and started looking for... Uh, musician. He originally took all of a band called Elf to California with him and then slowly started to replace them one at a time. And Ronnie Dio was the singer in the band at the time. So we ended up keeping Ronnie and replacing everyone else one at a time over a, a slow and long and tedious sort of process. <laughs> and uh, finding new musicians was the worst part of that time. Um, I had the unenviable job of removing the musicians one at a time that he didn't, <laughs> didn't like. So some of them never got to even perform. They just were replaced before, you know, he'd be playing pool and he'd see someone pull in and say, oh, get rid of him, would you? <laughs> well, don't you want to hear him? Uh, no, just get rid of him. And that, that was pretty much how we went along on a daily basis for months till he found the right combination. <laughs> 